Lord, we come to you saying thank you. Thank you. For this day, we thank you for everybody here, Lord. We thank you for the people that aren't here, Lord. We thank you for the people that wanted to be here today, Lord. Thank you. Lord, we thank you for our pastors. We thank you for everybody bringing the word to us today, Lord. We pray that you touch them, bless them, and give them eyes and ears to hear and see you. Yes. Us the word that you have for us today, Lord. Yes. Lord, we thank you for the praise team, Lord. We thank you for everybody, Lord. We pray that you touch us as well. Lord, um, we pray that you touch us to usher in the praise yes, today, yes, Lord. Yes. We love you. We thank you. We pray yes. you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 It tells of one whose loving heart can feel my deepest woe. Who when he sorrow bears a part that none can bear below. Oh, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Oh, how I love him. Oh, how I love Jesus. Amen. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Amen. Yeah. 
shout hallelujah. We don't get to choose our biological parents. Hallelujah. Praise him. Jesus chose us Amen. to be his children. Hallelujah. It's a privilege. It's a blessing to be a child of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll be reading from Philippians chapter 4. Jesus. Say amen when you get there. Philippians chapter 4 verse 1 says, Therefore, my brethren, mm -hmm. dearly beloved and longed for, my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech you, Deus, and beseech Sintachi, mm -hmm. that they be of the same mind in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, yeah. help those women which labor with me in the gospel, Amen. with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers <coughs> whose names are in the book of life. Amen. Rejoice in the Lord always. Mm -hmm. And again, I say rejoice. Yes, sir. Let your moderation be known unto all men. Mm -hmm. The Lord is at hand. Amen. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer, and supplication with thanksgiving. Yes. Let your requests be made known unto God. Yes. And the peace of God, yes. which surpasses all understanding, yes. shall keep your hearts and minds through yes. Christ Jesus. Yes. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, yes. whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, yes. whatsoever things are pure, yes. whatsoever things are lovely, Yes. Whatsoever things are of good report, yes. if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, yes. think on these things. Mm -hmm. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard yes. and seen in me, do. Yes. And the God of peace uh -huh. shall be with you. Amen. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at last your care of me hath flourished again, Praise wherein ye were also careful. But you lacked opportunity. Mm -hmm. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, yeah, yeah. therewith to be content. That's it. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abide. Mm -hmm. Everywhere and in all things yeah. I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, mm -hmm. both to abound and to suffer need. Mm -hmm. I can do all things yeah. through Christ, which strengthens me. Yes. Notwithstanding, ye have well done that ye did communicate with my affliction. Now ye Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, mm -hmm. but ye only. For even in Thessalonica, ye sent once and again unto my necessity. Not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. Amen. But I have all and abound. I am full, Amen. having received Ephrodosius, the things which were sent from you, an odor of sweet smell, yes. a sacrifice of acceptable, a sacrifice acceptable, yes. well pleasing to God. Yes. But my God shall supply all your oh, yeah. according to his riches yes. and glory by Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now unto God and our Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 Salute every saint in Christ Jesus, yes. the brethren which are with me greet you. Yes. All the saints salute you. Chiefly they are chiefly they that are of Caesar's household. Mm -hmm. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. 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 Zechariah 3. Zechariah 3. And he showed me Jonah, I mean uh, Joshua, the high priest standing before the angels of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. And the Lord said unto Satan, the Lord rebuke thee, O Satan, even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem. Rebuke thee, 
Is, is not this a brand yeah. plucked out of the fire? Yeah. Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and stood before the angels, and he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thy inequity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with change of ribbon. And I have said, Let them set a fair mitre upon his head. So they set a fair mitre upon his head and clothed him with garments. And the angel of the Lord stood by, and the angel of the Lord protested unto Joshua, saying, Thus said the Lord of hosts, If thou wilt walk in my ways, if thou wilt keep my chain charge, then thou shalt also judge my house, and shalt also keep my course, and I will give thee place to walk among the, these that stand by. Here now, O Joshua, the high priest, thou and thy fellows that sit before thee, for they are men wandering. <clears throat> for behold, I will bring forth my servant the branch. For behold, the stone that I have laid before Joshua, upon one stone shall be seven eyes. Behold, I will engrave the graving thereof, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will remove the iniquity of the land in one day. Yeah. That day, said the Lord of hosts, shall ye call every man his neighbor under the vine and under the fig tree. Great. Good morning. Good morning. God bless us this morning. Yes. We serve the true and almighty God. Yes. Amen. Patient and a love God. Yes. God. And I'm just thankful to be a monster many. Yes. Amen. I'm going to read from 1 John, the fourth chapter. 1 John, the fourth chapter. May Very God bless each and every soul that's here. May God keep us throughout the rest of this day. Amen. Keep our hearts and our minds stayed upon Him. Yes. Because can't nobody. Amen. Says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, <laughs> but try the spirits yeah. whether they are of God. Amen. Because many false prophets yeah. are gone out into the world. Yeah. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. Yeah. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. Yeah. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. Where have we have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world? Ye are, God, ye are of God, little children and have overcome them. Yes. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Mm -hmm. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. Amen. He that knoweth God heareth us. Yes. He that is not, he that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Yeah. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. Yeah. And everyone yeah. that loveth is born of God yeah. and knoweth God. Yeah. He that loveth not, knoweth not God, right. for God is love. Yes, is. In this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only uh -huh. begotten Son into the world, Lord. that we might live through him. Yeah. Herein is love. Uh -huh. Not that we love God, but that he <laughs> loved us Amen. and sent his son uh -huh. to be the petitiation for our sins. Yeah. 
Beloved, if God so loved us, uh -huh. we ought also to love one another. Yeah. No matter seeing God at any time, if we love one another, God dwelleth in us. Amen. And his love is perfected in us. Yeah. Hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us because he has given us his spirit. Yeah. And we have seen and do know and testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, mm -hmm. God dwells in him, uh -huh. and he in God. Mm -hmm. And we have known and believed the love that God has, has to us. God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Yeah. Herein is our love made perfect. That we may that we that we may have boldness, boldness. in the day of judgment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because as he is, yeah. so are we yeah. in this world. Yeah. There is no fear yeah. in love. Yeah. But perfect love casts yeah. out fear. Amen. Because fear has torment. Yeah. He that feareth is not made yeah. perfect mm -hmm. in love. We love him. Because he first loved us. Yes. If a man say, I love God and hate his brother, he is a liar. Yes. For he that loveth not his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? Yes. And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God, love his brother also. Amen. Praise you. Amen. Amen. Action word, amen. amen. And he put that love into action for us, amen. amen. I love love, amen. 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 I'm reading out Philippians 2, amen. amen. I thought Sister had it for a minute there. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Philippians 2. If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, amen. if any comfort of love, mm -hmm. if any fellowship of spirit, yes. if any bowels of mercy, uh -huh. Fulfill ye my joy, mm -hmm. that ye may be like-minded, mm -hmm. having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Mm -hmm. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, yeah. but in lowliness mm -hmm. of mind. Let each esteem others better than themselves. Amen. 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 Let's read through it again. Let nothing be done through strife and vainglory, yes. but in loneliness of, of the mind. Mm -hmm. Let each esteem others Amen. better Amen. than themselves. Amen. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Let this mind be in you also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, to be equal to God. Amen? Yeah. But made himself of no repetition and took upon him the form of a servant. Yeah. Thank you, Thank Jesus. You. And was made in the likeness of men yeah. and being found in fashion of a man. Yeah. Ooh, he humbled himself yeah. Yeah. and became obedient unto death. Yeah. Even the death of the cross. Yeah. Wherefore God has highly exalted him. Amen. Amen. Knowing that I'm not doing my sister right. Amen. 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 I ain't come to 
language. Amen. Amen. For it is God who is working in both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Amen. Do all things without murmuring and disputes. Amen. Yes. Yes. That ye may be blameless and harmless, the Son of God, yes. without rebuke in the midst of a crook, a crooked uh -huh. and perverse nation, yes. among whom ye shine as lights in the world. Amen. Amen. As lights in the world. Holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not ran in vain, neither labored in vain. Amen. Yea, if I be offered upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. Yeah. For the same cause also do ye joy, that ye joy and rejoice yeah. with me. Yeah. But I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy shortly unto you. Uh -huh. And I also may be good, may be of good comfort. And when I know your state. Yeah. For I am no man like-minded who will naturally care of your state. Yeah. For all seek their own, not the things which are of Jesus Christ. Yeah. But ye know the proof of him that as a son with the Father, he has served with me in the gospel. Yeah. Him, therefore, I hope to send presently, so soon as I shall see how it will go with me. But I trust in the Lord that I also myself shall come shortly. Amen. Yet I suppose it necessary to send to you Ever, ever, I'm sorry, ever, ever rise, yeah. my brother yeah. and companion in labor yeah. and fellow soldier, but the messenger, but your messenger, and he that ministered to my wants, yeah. for he longed after you all, uh -huh. and uh, and was full of heaviness because that he had heard that he had been sick, yeah. for indeed he was sick. Nay unto death. Yeah. But God had mercy upon him. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And had not on him, and not on him only, yeah. but on me also. Amen. Least I should have sorrow upon sorrow. Yeah. I said therefore the more carefully that ye see him again, mm -hmm. ye may rejoice, and that I may be less sorrowful. Amen. Philippians Great. 2, chapter 29. I mean verse 29. Amen. Yeah. Receive him therefore in the Lord with all gladness and Amen. hold such in repetition Amen. because of the work of Christ. He was nigh unto death, Amen. not regarding his life, yeah. to supply your lack and service towards Amen. me. Amen. May yeah. God have a blessing to me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And we worship you. Yes. 
in the praise of holiness. Yes. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Bless us now. Yes. Holy Spirit, teach us. Yes. Preach your word. Yes. We ask it in the name of Jesus. Yes. We thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Would you turn your Bibles to the book of Isaiah, chapter 28, amen. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, amen. We thank God that you have allowed us to meet come together once again. Amen. Amen. I don't take that for granted. Amen. 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 We come to fellowship with one another. Yes, Lord. And we come to worship God yes. together in spirit mm -hmm. and in truth. Amen. Yes, Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're going to read verse 16. And then we're going to move on to Romans chapter 1. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 16. And our theme, our subject for today is from faith to faith. From faith to faith. If you want to jot that down, from faith to faith. Verse 16, the prophet Isaiah says, Therefore, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone. Y'all see that? A precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste, or shall not be made ashamed. Amen. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Isaiah is only repeating what God told him to say. Thus saith the Lord God. He says, Behold, look, I lay in line. He's prophesying <coughs> of our Savior Jesus. Yes, Lord. 750 years before he came. Isaiah is saying, God says, Behold, I lay in line for a what? Foundation, a stone. Mm -hmm. Now here it is. Listen, a tried stone. Y'all yes, see that? Yes, Jesus came and he was tried. Mm -hmm. I mean, his faith yes. was tried. Yes. A tried stone. Mm -hmm. He told the people who he were, but he did not. They did not accept him. Amen. St. John one and eleven. He came unto his own, but his own received him not. Yes. He came unto his own people, but they rejected him. And so Isaiah said, and repeating what God says, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone. What the other one say? A what? A precious stone. Come on. A sure foundation. He that believe it, Lord, shall not make age. He that believe it shall not be made ashamed. Amen. Amen. Look at Romans chapter 1. Turn there with me. Romans hallelujah, chapter 1. Verses 16 and 17. When you find it, just say amen. Amen. You have it? Okay. Verse 16. Paul said, For I am not ashamed. Y'all see that? For I am not ashamed of the what? Of the gospel yes. of Christ. Amen. amen. I don't know about you. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. And then he tells us why. He says, for it is what? The power of God. I don't mind. For it is the power of God unto salvation. 
Salvation means deliverance. For it is the power of God unto salvation, deliverance. To who? To everyone that what? That believe it. The condition is it, is, it is available to everyone that believe. Amen. Amen. The individual that don't believe, he can't have it. Amen. Amen. For it is the power of God, not Almighty, mm -hmm. unto salvation deliverance yes. to everyone that believe it, mm -hmm. to the Jew first, to also to the Greek, Amen. to the to the Gentile, to the to the Jew. To the red, white, and blue. Yes, to the black man. Amen. Amen. To the blue man. The child man. Mm -hmm. The yellow man. Whoever it might be. Everyone that believes it. Mm -hmm. The power of God is given to him. Amen. Unto what? Unto salvation. Yes. Yes. Unto deliverance. This gospel can deliver us from anything okay. that we need to be delivered from. Amen. Come on, you buy a break if you believe that. I mean, anything, anything that you might be dealing with, anything that, that choose to hang on to you, the gospel of Christ can deliver you from that because it is the power of God unto salvation deliverance. Listen at verse 17. Paul says, For therein is the righteousness of God. What do you mean therein? For within the gospel of Christ mm -hmm. is the righteousness of God. Amen. Hey, Amen. in the gospel of Christ, you will find the righteousness of God. Amen. Revealed from what? Faith to faith. Come on, read verse 17 with me. For therein is the righteousness of God. Revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, what? The just shall live by faith. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Who is the just? The one who's living righteous. The man who, the man and the woman who's trying to please God. And Paul said, what do we do? We live by faith. Y'all see that? You can't take that word out of there. That word live. Mm -hmm. He said, For the just shall live by faith. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. He says, For we walk by faith. Mm -hmm. Hey, not by sight. Amen. In other words, one translator says, We live by faith, not by sight. Amen. Amen. In other words, our daily activity. Is all involved around what? Faith. Come on, y'all. It's all about faith. Amen. What we do, we do it in faith. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Come on, let's bring it home. What we think, we think in faith. Amen. 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 See, whether you receive this or not, it's true. For we walk by faith, not by sight. That's the life of a born again believer. Amen. Come on, give God some praise. Amen. That's the life. That's the lifestyle of a born again believer. You walk by faith, and those that are around you, they see you walking by faith. Amen. Hallelujah. What does that mean? They see you trusting God. Amen. <laughs> they see you depending upon God. And trust in God to supply all of your needs. Somebody just read that Amen. in Philippians chapter 4. Yes. My God, what? Yes. Shall supply all of your needs. Yes. My God shall supply all my needs. Amen. Come on, y'all. If you believe that, say it with me. My God shall supply all my all needs. Let's say it again. My God shall supply all my needs. Praise and praise and praise. We should have already gotten acquainted with our God to know for a fact without any doubt that He will supply all our needs. Come on, think back. How many times God let you down? 
Come on, church. How many times did God let you down? God supplied all of our needs. David said, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes. 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 I shall not want. Yes. I think it was last month. Maybe last month or month before last. I was thinking about that text. David said, he said what? The Lord what? He is my shepherd. Uh -huh. I what? I shall not want. Uh -oh. Amen. That puts us in a jam. Mm -hmm. Because he didn't use the word need. Minister Verson, he used the word war. Mm -hmm. Hey, Amen. the Lord is my shepherd. Mm -hmm. Come on, say it with me. I shall not want. Let's start. Come on. The Lord is my shepherd. Amen. I shall not want. Hey, Amen. for anything. Amen. Amen. Lord. Don't let that put you in a bag. Because David saying, whatever I want, God will give it to me. Come on, y'all. He was just that close to the Lord. Yes. An intimate relationship. He was just that close to God. To say for a fact, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want for nothing. But praise God. No reason. No reason. Can you give me this towel on the front seat? I shall not want. He didn't say, I shall not need. He said, I shall not want. Amen. Oh. That means that David was so close to God that he could not want for anything. Amen. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Without God supplying that want. Amen. You are crazy. Hallelujah. That's how close. We need to get to God. Amen. Hey, Paul in Philippians chapter 3, verse 10, Paul said, he said, I want to know him. I want to know him. I want to know the power of his resurrection. Come on, church. You remember that word? I want to know the power of his resurrection. I want to know the fellowship of sharing with him in his suffering. In other words, I want to suffer some of the things that he suffered. Amen. Oh, y'all got quiet here. Amen. In other words, in order for me to know him, mm -hmm. I got to suffer yeah. some of the things that he suffered. Amen. Hey, I got to be able to identify with him. Pray. Amen. I want to know him. I want to know the power yes. of his resurrection. I want to know the fellowship yes, of sharing with him in his suffering mm -hmm. and being conformed like him in his resurrection, in his death. Amen. In other words, he got up. I know I'm going to get up. Amen. Come on, y'all. Yes, hey, when God called me home, I don't worry about it. Amen. Hey, death is no fear for me. Amen. Sister Duncan just read it. Hey, fear is torment. Amen. Come on, y'all. I don't fear there. Amen. Because I don't die, I just sleep. Yeah. I, just, I just get in guard and take a nap. Yeah. Hey, and whenever he wake me up, Minister Gersh is all right with me. Yeah. Come on, it's crazy. It's all right with me. Because I know he's going to do it in his time. Amen. He's going to do it in his time Amen. according to his will. Yes. So back to Romans chapter 1. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Amen. For it is the power of God mm -hmm. to everyone. It didn't leave none of us out. Amen. Hey, to, he said, to everyone that believe it. And on that same note right there, turn your Bibles back to St. John chapter 1. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Let's look at this everyone. Mm -hmm. Hey! St. John 1 and 11, you're going to find a word that's very disturbing there. Tell me when you, when you got there. Amen. Are you there? Yes. Verse 11, St. John 1 and 11, come on, read it with me. He came mm -hmm. unto his own, Amen. and his own did what? Amen. Receive him not. Amen. His own people. Amen. He came to them with salvation. 
to let them know that he was the one that they had been waiting for all those years. And guess what? Some of them still waiting on But he come, y'all. He had already come and gone. He says he came unto his own. And his own received him not. This is verse 12. I like that. But as many as received him. Hey! But as many. There's that everyone, y'all. But as many as received him. To them gave he power. Y'all see that word? To them gave he power. To become the sons of God. To them gave he power to become the children of God. Mm -hmm. Here's here, that word. Even to them what? That believe on his name. <laughs> Come on, give God some praise. Even to them that believe on his name. So what is it all about? We can't have faith unless we have a, a strong belief. Amen. Amen. We cannot have faith in God. Y'all, not picking on you. Amen. But listen, we cannot have faith in God unless we have a strong belief yes. in the depths of our soul that all things are possible with Him. Amen. Come on, pray. Hey! When I saw that word years ago, he says that all things are possible with God. Amen. He says with men, it is impossible. Mm -hmm. But with God, what? All things are possible. Amen. Hey, and guess what? I believe that. Amen. I believe it, y'all. All things are possible all with God. Amen. And if we believe that all things are possible with God, we have a strong belief mm -hmm. that will motivate us to walk by faith. Amen. Pray. Amen. So walk by faith. Amen. What is walking by faith? It's just a simple trusting in God. Amen. Trusting in God. Come on, y'all know y'all know the text. Proverbs three and five. What it says? Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Come on. With all thy heart, lean not unto thy own understanding. Come on. In all thy ways, acknowledge Him. And he yeah. shall direct your path. Amen. Give God some praise for the Lord. Guess what? I found it to be true. Amen. When I stop and think and pull back from trying it my way and start trusting God, God will work it out just right. Amen. Oh, I know you do. God will work it out just right. Hallelujah. And guess what? It'll be to my advantage. Yes. Paul says in Romans 8 and 28, and we know that all things yes. work together yes. for the good of those that love God yes. and those that what? That are called according to His purpose. Yes. Every one of us in here. Amen. Talking about the little boys and the girls. Every one of us in here. God has a special purpose for our life. Amen. I say it's a special purpose. Yes, yes. He has a purpose for our life. Amen. We were not born accidentally. Hallelujah. Hey, we were born with a purpose. Amen. And if you believe that, give God some praise. Amen. We were born with a purpose. I say we were born with a purpose. Amen. And therefore, that's the criteria of the text. And we know that all things Work together for what? For the good of those that what? Love God. Do you love God? Amen. Those that are called according to His purpose. And therefore everything that happens in our lives, God will intervene and bring it out to be some good. Amen. Come on, God. I say God will bring it out. God will get into that situation and bring some good out of it. Amen. I've seen Him do it, y'all. Well, praise God today. We're not through yet with, with verse 12. St. John 1 and 12, but as many. Mm -hmm. See that word, but? It's a change of heart. It's a change of mind. It's an injection there to let you know now we go with another train of thought. 
What verse 11 said? He came unto his what? Own. Oh. And what? And his own received him not. And the first word in verse 12 is what? But. I'm about to say but. It says, but as many as the what? Received him. Come on, y'all. To them gave he power to become the sons of God. To become the children of God. Who is the him? John is talking about the Lord Jesus. Hey, verse 1 says what? In the beginning was the word. Come on. And the word was what? With God. Come on. And the word was God. Verse 2 says what? The same as in the beginning with God. Read verse 3 with me. All things were what? Made by him. Come on. And without him was nothing made that was made. Read verse 14. Come on. And the word was made what? Flesh. And dwelt among us. And we beheld what? His glory. Come on, y'all. We beheld his glory. The glory of love, the only begotten of the Father. He was what? Full of grace and truth. John is talking about Jesus here in verse 12. And so he says, but as many as received him, but as many as received the Lord Jesus. Sounds like to me that's talking about, talking about some evangelistic work there. All right, Evangelism. Somebody getting saved. Come on. First word. But as many as received him, the Lord Jesus, yes. to them gave he what? Power, Power. To, become. to become the sons of God. Amen. Even to them that what? Believe on his name. name. To them he gave the power. He gave the authority. He gave the right. Guess what, y'all? We have a right to be saved. Y'all don't hear me. I said we have a right to be saved. Amen. When Jesus went and died on that cross mm -hmm. and hung there from the sixth to the ninth hour, Amen. and they have whooped him and abused him, yes. and he hung on that cross, Amen. he paid the debt that all of us owe. Amen. And so we have a what? A right hey, to be saved. Yes, 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 yes. To them gave he power, the right to become the children of God. Even to them that believe on his name. And here's the climate of the text. Read verse 13. Come on. Which were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh. Come on. Nor of the will of man. Say it. Blood of God. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. We are born again. Hey. I say we are born again. Of God. Yes. When we say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart and be Lord of my life. Mm -hmm. Live your life in me and be my Savior. In that flip second, the Holy Ghost came and baptized us. Yes, he merged us into the family of God. Yes, and he put us in the family of God. And now we belong to God. Amen. Hey, Amen. Jesus is our master. Amen. He's our master. He's our teacher. Yes. He's our lawyer. Yes. He's our doctor. Yes. Oh, you all to praise God today. Yes. You ready to bring it to a close? Romans 10 and 17. So then faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. From faith to faith. I appeal to you all. If you don't get this word every day, Amen. your faith can't grow like God wanted to grow. Amen. And you know what? I'm not going to quote it again. I want you to see the word. Go to chapter. Go to Romans chapter ten. Hallelujah. Romans chapter ten. Let's look at one verse in particular. You talking about a climate of the text? Verse 17. Romans 10 and 17. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, my. Yes, sir. Yes. Look at the climate. Let's read it real loud together. Verse 17. Come on. So then faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Come on again. So then faith coming by hearing 
and hearing by the word of God. One more time. So then faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. God wants us to get that in our spirits. Amen. Hey. Amen. So then faith coming by hearing. Hearing what? The word. Receiving what? The word. That's why the reading of the word is so important. Yes, yes. My soul rejoiced when they were reading the word. Hey! And my soul was receiving what the word was saying. Amen. It's not about us. It's not about the person. It's about what the word is saying. So in faith coming by what? Hearing. And hearing by the word of God. If you want faith to come, hear the word. Get the word. Come on, get the word. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Romans 1 again. And one verse in particular, and we're going to close it out. Verse 16. Amen. Amen. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Amen. The gospel mm -hmm. of Christ. Yeah. For it is the power, I don't mind. For it is the what? The power of God. Great day in the morning. For it is the power of God unto salvation. It is number one. It is the power. It is God's power to produce new birth. If you want to jot that down. We got four for you. Four. Number one, it is the power. It is God's power to produce new birth. Number two, is God's power to give salvation and deliverance. Hey! Amen. God gives us a power to come from under any bondage, any stronghold. Number one, is God's power to produce new birth. Number two, to give salvation and deliverance. Number three, is God's power to impart grace. Hey, thank God for his grace. Yes. Yes. Come on, say it with me. Only, Only. by the grace of God. Say it again with me. Only, Only. By, the by the grace of God. My life. Only, Only. by the grace of God, y'all. Amen. Hey, I'm being truthful with you. Amen. It's only by the grace of God that I'm here with you right now. So number three is God's power to impart grace. Number four, last but not least, is God's power to be established in the faith. I thought I had just four, got five. It's God's power, number four, to be established in the faith. I am crucified with Christ. Galatians 2 and 20. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet my life, but Christ liveth in me. And the life that I now live in this flesh, there it is, I live by what? I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Come on, y'all. Y'all are great. It's God's power to be established in the faith. Last but not least, here it is. Number five, it's God's power to bring peace. How oh, mighty. Amen. Y'all, church, we need some peace. Amen. I'm not talking about in this world. There is no peace out there. Amen. I'm talking about in here. Amen. We need some peace, y'all. Yes. Hey, Jesus says in St. John 4, 14 and 27, he says, peace I leave with you. Amen. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world give it, I give unto you. Amen. Here it is. He says, let my your heart be troubled. Amen. Neither let it be afraid. Amen. He says, My peace I give unto you. Amen. Say, Jesus, Jesus. Lord, Jesus. Lord Jesus, speak peace, speak peace. Down, into down into my soul. In your name, Jesus. Amen. Come on, give God some grace. Amen. Faith, from faith to faith. I'm not ashamed. Amen. 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 of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God 
unto salvation. Every one of you. It is the power of God unto anything that might be there that don't look like God. It is the power of God unto salvation and deliverance. Hey! Romans 9, Romans 10 and 9, that if thou shalt confess in thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead. Come on. Thou shalt be saved. God bless you, church. I love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your word. So good, church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank God for the pastor will and no other pastor like him that allow me to preach this word in here. present your bodies 
a living sacrifice. Mm -hmm. What's the next word? Oh. Holy. And what does holiness do? Make you acceptable yeah. to God, which is your word. Reason. 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 It ain't no big thing for us to be holy. Amen. Ain't no big thing for us to get holy. Somebody died to give us all this and this stuff. Amen. My subject is submit yourself to God. Amen. Now look, then he gives us a warning in Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed. Mm -hmm. Don't start acting like. The world. Amen. Did you know most churches now, the people stay at home and watch the church on the internet? Mm -hmm. Don't be tricked. God said, don't fail mm -hmm. to what? Yourself. Amen. There is power. Hey. Amen. Yes. Don't take a whole bunch of us. Back that little choir. Mm -hmm. Man, they say. Amen. Now the person that's working on this sound system, he don't work for nothing. You know what his pay is? Amen. $150 an hour. Yes, sir. Jesus. He came to Pastor Weaver. I'll listen to your television program. It's not like what it should be. I will come and fix it. Amen. Don't the scripture say, My God shall supply what? But look, don't forget that patience yeah. is a virtue. Yeah. Yeah. Now there ain't no problem we got that haven't been fixed. Mm -hmm. We got to be fixed to accept the thing that's fixed. Mm -hmm. And when God fixes a thing, you ought not to go through that same thing again. That's that's right. That's right. And then blame God. God is a deliverer. He don't take the good things away. He don't make the bad things good. When he take the bad thing away, that good thing is coming in. You, you can't have good and bad. That is, you can't serve God and the devil. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus said, I set before you what? Life Amen. and death. I'm not going to influence you. That's right. That's right. You choose. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm so glad. Yes. Yes. I'm so glad. Mm -hmm. My wife sent word. Tell the saints I love them. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Now this book say God is love. love. And this book said love what? Never fails. My subject is submitting yourself to God. And I have learned to slow down. To slow down. In Romans 12, I mildly command you, I beg you, I urge you, therefore, by 
that in nurses of God. So if you want something to happen, what do you have? What do you have to send before you speak? The nurses of God. Now I've noticed our little our little baby saints. We got candy back there. And they find out where that candy is. And they spend most of that time hanging around where that sweet thing is. Hey! God is sweeter. Then honey and the honeycomb. Yeah. Yeah. And when I was a child, I act like a child. When I became a man, yeah. I found out what really is sweet. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now you can get a ton of candy and you can eat it all up. Mm -hmm. Then you ain't got no more sweetness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The scripture said taste. Yes. And your eyes will come open. Mm -hmm. yes, and you see that the Lord is good. Yes. <laughs> you will see that the Lord is good. Yes. His yes. mercy. Yes. That's right. Yes. That's right. Look. Now look at that word endure. Mm -hmm. See, he's always putting up a way, but not what I am. His mercy endure. Yes. Yes. He didn't say enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. So God is just enduring us. It's called grace. Immeasurable grace. God showed me when you lay down at night, he'll sign his angels to watch over you. Somebody wrote a song, his eyes. I said to him, it's over there. Yes. Spirit, and I know yes. God watches over me. Yes. See, the gospel is Jesus laid down flat. Faith in Jesus will cause him to stand up and fight for you. Amen. Be your intercessor. He'll be your lawyer. He'll be your judge too. Amen. But when you come to God for judgment, Jesus' job is a step between you and that strike. It's called crucifixion. He went to hell for me. He stayed down there three days for me. Then when he came up, he came up boasting. I'm up. He didn't say something. Yes. He said all power wow. in heaven and in earth is in mine. Yes. Yes. <coughs> listen, listen. Hear that sound? Amen. Amen. The back did that. Amen. I knew it should have been there, but I didn't know how to do it. Amen. Thank God for the technicians yes. that help us deliver what God got written in this book. Amen. So he said, now I'll get you on the internet, I'll get you in the interview. He didn't tell me you got to buy this equipment, you got to buy that equipment. And then Jarvis came in. He said, I'll get it for him. Today. Amen. Today. Amen. Today. Come on, don't be afraid. Understand this. God will use people to supply your needs. But one of the greatest things I need at 85 is patience. And the older you get, 
the more you come guilty of that. Because you look back and see, I've come 85 years and I, I, I better do something. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm doing it. Amen. I'm telling you, and I want you to tell other folk, if your God ain't working, Amen. try now. Don't be surprised now if the devil try to attack yes. that person that's close to you. So what you got to do? Cover with prayer and mercy. Yes. Yes. And go and do what God told you to do. Because yes. he's the one told her, I will never let him or call her such yes. a heart. He's yes. the one to hold him to his word. He said, I will never let me help. I will never leave you. Yes. Nor forsake you. Yes, he did. Even what? To the end. Don't you know say, tell him you're blessed. I'm blessed. Yes. Is there anybody else in your blessed? Yes. yes. <coughs> let me see your hand. Testified, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And I know I'm blessed. I know I'm blessed. Because I got God in my life. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. <laughs> Romans, Romans 10. I beseech you, therefore, brethren. So, who is he talking to? The saints. I beseech you, brethren. How is he talking to him? Mm. By the mercies mm. of God. What is his request? That you present your bodies, heaven and earth, a living sacrifice, holy and simple to God, which is your reasonable service. Ain't no big thing if you live holy. Jesus paid for it, it ain't cost you nothing. <coughs> Romans. 12 and 2 and be not conformed don't start acting like the word will be transformed now <clears throat> I'm, I'm an electrician and I know what a transformer is it holds power Amen. huh And I have experienced that erroneously. You touch that power, it's going to touch you back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that transformer, trans mean bring into it. Mm -hmm. Don't be tricked by the power of deception mm -hmm. that the devil offers you. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That don't bother me none. Mm -hmm. My pastor said, James, you got to have a made up mind. Mm -hmm. Jesus gave the world an invitation. Come unto what? Mm -hmm. Me. You know what he said? And I will give you. So if you want something good, don't go to man. Go to God. Come and leave where you are. Mm -hmm. Come where I'm in. And I will give you all that God put in me to give you. I will give you everlasting life. Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed. Don't be changed. Don't join the world. But be ye transformed. Get enough power. To allow God to give you power mm -hmm. to come out of the world into the church. Amen. The church is the body of Christ. Amen. Look, <clears throat> Romans 12 and 2. Renewing of your mind, change 
your mind. That's the first thing you do before you get saved. I know. I would be became little Richard and Bobby Bland and all of them folk. Before I got saved, I got to, I got changed. Amen. I got, I got to stop it. That's the mind. When the heart say it, faith comes. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, if you have the mind of Christ, Christ said, not my will, mm -hmm. Father, but your will mm -hmm. be done. Amen. Look, look. On earth, as it is in heaven, where did Jesus die when you crucified him? Where did he go? He went down in hell. Now, he didn't make this statement until he came up out of hell. He said, all power. Mm -hmm. Understand it now. In heaven and not on earth. In heaven and in earth is in my hand. So all the power that hell had against us, the crucifixion and the resurrection of Jesus canceled that. And I'm a living witness. You can't find a whole lot of people that's 85 years old. And I'm asking God, don't let me be, don't let me be conscious of it. Because we're always saying, my God can. Yes. Now fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. Romans 12. Be renewed of your mind that you may prove what is that good acceptable here's a word they try to tell you ain't in the Bible perfect and perfect will of God when you renew your mind and surrender your soul you will see God want me to live holy and peaceful and healthy and prosperous for I say look through the grace what's the next three words Give it unto me. Mm -hmm. That's what you have. Mm -hmm. Nobody can tell you exactly how much that is, what it means. Amen. But the word sufficient means enough and a whole bunch of more. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Man came in my house yesterday, had a cold. <laughs> I caught it. Wouldn't it be nice if he had come into my presence and caught the Holy Ghost? Amen. Huh? Amen. Yes. The Holy Ghost is not transferable. Amen. Anything is transferable has to do with the flesh. Amen. I have three sons, two of them saved and filled with the Holy Spirit. I would I could transfer this same thing to my youngest son, but I can't do that. It was God that said, come unto me. What's the next two words? All of you. So the world has an invitation. Come to Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's a choice. Mm -hmm. If you don't come, you'll burn. Mm -hmm. Oh, we don't like talk like that, but it's a fact. Mm -hmm. If you got three buses going to Detroit, you miss two of them. Mm -hmm. Don't miss that last one. Amen. Amen. Now you can miss it by a week or a year mm -hmm. or an hour or a minute. A ten seconds. Yes. You lost. Amen. Jesus said, The day you hear my word, mm -hmm. harden not your heart as in the day of propagation when they tried me for forty years. I took them in the desert. Yes. 
Don't harm your heart. Don't join the popularity of folk. Romans, Romans 12, 3. For I say, read it with me. Through the yeah. grace, what? Given unto me. So you preach by the power of the grace that's given to you. <clears throat> now you ain't preaching something that you ain't living. If you love God, you will act like you are godly. Amen. Amen. Anything else is hypocrisy. Amen. Now don't nobody know that better than me. Because mm -hmm. I started teaching Sunday school when I was 12. That's the number before 13 and one just after living. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wasn't this most saved as a pregnant mosquito? Learn how to shout and speak in tongues. But one day, when all hell goes, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell it to you again because you need to know how serious this thing is. I saw the doors, you don't have to believe it, I, I saw it. Amen. I saw the doors of heaven closing like this. And I heard the voice, come in now or be shut out forever. Amen. And I came in and my coattail got caught and I came out of that coat. Amen. But never mind how close it was. In is in. Amen. No matter how tight it was, Amen. if you ain't out there, Amen. you ain't here. But only by what? Yeah. The grace of God. Yeah. Praying for someone to yeah. come back. I gave her a hug a minute ago. Yeah. You see, I believe that God hear me uh -huh. when I pray. Yeah. I'll say that again. <coughs> I say, I believe when God hear me, when I pray, God hear me. Uh -huh. So if you got a request, look at this now. Ask God, have one willing to pray for me. Amen. I'm your pastor. Amen. I can reach out, look at me. I can reach out. And I can touch God for you. Amen. Amen. That's part of my job. Amen. And when you are not here, I'm still your pastor. Amen. See, act like pastorship is a marriage. And when you get really married, I ain't talking about who. Mm -hmm. You say until death what? You are a That's right, amen. That's the kind of contract I'm out. I live there. Amen. I just saw myself lay the prayer before God. Thank you. You can't pass the being a blind preacher. Amen. Now, I used to try to carry all your problems. I said, no, you don't have to do that. You ain't me. He said, I told you, Pastor, to cast all your care. Amen. Look on me. I said, Lord, what about the problem that saints have? He said, all they have to do is bring them to me. Amen. Jesus is saying to us now, I am the answer. Yes. I am the way. Yes. Heaven with the truth. The truth. Yes. And the life. Yes. No man comes to me but by what? 
She, you got to have Jesus yes. to get to know. Yes, yes, yes. So they got all these names out here, TV and all that kind of stuff. And I saw one man, when he get through preaching, he's not allowed to walk on the floor of the church or on the ground. So people lay their bodies down and he walk on their bodies. <laughs> wow. I don't think that's right. Mm -hmm. But well, listen to me. The devil is a chief deceiver. Amen. 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 He told me this morning, you can't go to church, you got a cold. Mm. Now whatever he tell you, just Amen. flip it over. Mm. Because I got a cold, that's a good thing. Come to the church. Amen. Amen. So what are you trying to do? Mess my voice up so I can't talk. I can preach with my hand. Yeah, yeah. You know that main praise you've been giving. Yeah, yes, you, yes, yes. Then he wants to stop us mm -hmm. from assembling ourselves together. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why he don't want us to come together, cause we pray in concert. And more people praying give the devil more of his hand. He had to back up. Amen. Amen. Mm, I said to you, I'm in Romans 12. The third verse. For I say, through the grace, what is grace? Given is a gift. I say, through the grace given unto me. <clears throat> now is God's grace mm. sufficient? Amen. Do you have God's grace? Amen. Yes. Then you can speak from the sufficiency of that grace. We got a small choir, love that little choir. I wish you hit a little praise. I love them. Amen. 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 They come and sing and go, go to wake. That's good. Amen. But they prior time. I got the same. Amen. I'm going to wait later. Mm -hmm. But I'm on a command. I give you a voice, use it. Mm -hmm. Look what Jesus said to us. The day you hear my voice. Amen. He gives the word hard knock. Amen. Amen. This is because of hard and hard is here. But let me tell you something. This is a private race. When you get to heaven, you're going to stand before Jesus by yourself. Amen. That's it. Now, if you have stood for him here, mm -hmm. don't try to stand for him now. But Sister Rio told me, she said, James, Jesus is a friend that stick. Yes, yes. As a high close, she said, closer than a brother. <laughs> Amen. You know what I'm sitting here now? Think about it. Taking black from the dinner. Mm -hmm. I know my wife is sick. But I went to that room and raised my hand on my wife. Amen. And she and I and the devil know who had that. Back off! Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Now let me tell you something that you know. There's two things the devil got against you. You and he hates you. How come? Because you got the power to cancel his work. I've been praying for Pastor Black because sometimes he'd be tired. He might go to sleep trying to get back to Detroit. I said, Lord, shake it. <laughs> hey, keep him awake. Amen. Said, well, get to the, the rest there. Pull over if he gets to Pull over. Did you know Pastor Blackwood 
is one of the most faithful members in this country. I don't live with five houses down there. He meet me in church. I come in there and sit up, comb in his hair, study this message, and I'm, I'm, I'm coming. Hey, how you doing, buddy? You must be doing all right. You beat me to church. <laughs> now, if you think that's easy, when I dismiss church today, just imagine you got to drive 70 miles to get home. Mm -hmm. And imagine this is Sunday evening when people are coming from up north. Mm -hmm. That highway is just like that. Yes. So we prepared a room for Dr. Blackman in the back. So when the snow comes, he can come down here on Saturday night yeah. and relax. Amen. Listen to me. This is a real statement. Love ye what? what love. For love is a God. Yeah. And my God shall supply what? All of you. My is, Thank you, Lord. submit yourself to God. And I used to preach hard and loud and fast. But the Lord showed me the race between a turtle and a rabbit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that rabbit could run range around that turtle. <laughs> but that rabbit got a habit of taking a break. Yep. The little turtle is. Keep on going. <laughs> That's us. Yes, sir. Press push. Yes, yes, yes. Through the snow, mm -hmm. on the ice, in the rain, mm -hmm. and push. Look to the world like your church attendance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it had been snowing that day when Jesus was to take that cross up on Calvary, you think he could wait till tomorrow? Oh boy. When there's a better day? Oh. When it's more convenient? Yeah. Did you think they took that tree and put laxes on it and, and shined it and buffed it? Yeah. It was a rugged. Yes, sir. Cross. Oh, and after they got through beating Jesus, he didn't have enough strength to carry it. Oh, Simon picked it up and carried yes, it for it. But when they got up on Calvary, yes. yes, sir. Jesus said, Thank you for carrying my cross. Mm -hmm. But because it's my cross, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've got to die on it. Yes, sir. So you can carry yours. Mm -hmm. But for me to carry my cross, I've got to die to me. Yeah. Are mm -hmm. oh, y'all listening to me? Mm -hmm. The problem we got, we can't get to success until we die enough to forgive the one that gave us a problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know it don't sound right, but it's Bible. Amen. Forgive those that despise. Yes, amen. Oh, amen. Now, if you've been saved over five minutes, somebody done dog you. Come on. Amen. Jesus told the church, pick up your cross. Yes, yes, yes. Now, cross is not something you take to a picnic. Mm -hmm. I've been to a lot of picnics. I ain't never seen no cross like that. Amen. Pick it up. Don't drag it. Mm -hmm. Step two, step three, and Amen. follow me. So Jesus wants to know who's following him. All you have to do is look back and see that cross. Amen. Yeah. Because that's your badge. Amen. I'm a follower of Jesus. <clears throat> and because I'm a follower of Jesus, mm -hmm. my flesh has to suffer. Amen. Oh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the 
but we're under orders. <coughs> Amen. Pick it up and what? Follow. What is that cross? The Bible said, not your foe, your worst foe. That's what it said. No. I didn't say that. God said, your worst foes are in your own household. That don't mean husband or wife. That means anybody that lives in your house or in your family. Amen. <coughs> but Jesus said, pick it up and follow. Yes, sir. He didn't say just pick it up. Yes. Amen. He said, carry your cross just like I carried mine. Mm -hmm. But I carried mine to down it for you. Amen. You carry yours to show your love for me. Amen. Amen. have been coming <coughs> for the last two Thursdays since I got my master's from you and I went to California and I hit a hard knock and I came back. He said, what do I have to do to earn my PhD, my doctorate? I said, just show up. He said, I had a job working out of town. It took me two hours to get there and two hours to come back. So that's 12 hours a day. I'm away from my wife, my children, and the church. And I didn't have time to pass. I said, just show up. I'll give you a doctor's degree. Amen. How do you cover that? Love ye what? One another. Carry one another's burden. That's how I got to be 85 years old. I love you. When you heard, mm -hmm. I heard. It's my mystery to you. It hurts me. And I've learned to take anger and get even and lay it apart over there. And I got an attorney. His name is Jesus. And he told me, James, that's all your care mm -hmm. about me. I what? Yeah. And God is not a respecter of mm -hmm. person. So he loved me. He got to love you. Amen. Now, <coughs> St. John 3.16 says God so loved what? The, the world. The world wasn't worthy of God's love. We didn't need it. We didn't earn it. Amen. It's a gift. Amen. It's a gift. You can't find no saint that's a saint without the Savior. Are y'all listening to me? And when you're a saint, you're going to have problems in your family. Yes. But there's a difference between having a problem in your family and having a problem in your faith. Amen. Amen. Now you don't have to take care of that problem. Amen. But the scripture is that whosoever should call upon the name of Kumosa, the name of the Lord, shall Amen. be saved. You don't have to speak in tongues. You ain't got to dance. Amen. You ain't got to join the choir. You don't have to preach. Amen. Amen. But what you have to do is live. Holy. Amen. Amen. Hey! You got to live. Yes, sir. I thought he died. He died. That's what the word saying means to be, be holy. Amen. If you ain't saying, you ain't holy. You ain't holy, you ain't saying. If people exaggerate, he wash your sins away in his blood, yes. But how did the blood come? He had to suffer. And faith, not in the blood, faith in the Son of God saves you. 
Romans 12. For I say through the grace of God given unto me, look, to every man mm -hmm. that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. Yes, sir. But to think so of it. Yeah. yeah. You see that word only before grace? Yes. Only by what? The grace of God. This is what he's talking about here. We only say because our faith in Christ Jesus and the work that God sent Jesus to do for us to keep us saved if we obey. Now let me teach you now. This Bible say to us that say, be angry, but don't let the sun go. Go now, don't go to bed angry. If Jesus come, you'll cross hell wide open because you had said the angry. You have forgiven the one that brought you that anger. This is called the straight way. You're all right on your way to heaven or you're all wrong on your way to hell. And Jesus came. Thank God for Jesus coming. Amen. He died the death that I was to die mm -hmm. so I could live the life that he was to live. Right, so Christ lives well mm -hmm. in me. He's the hope of what? I used to sit in my office and enjoy you when you read the word. Now I come down here and listen. You read the word under the anointing. It is the same thing as the message that I preach. Amen. No difference. No. So I'm kind of particular about who I allow to read. Amen. Amen. Well, God will charge me with hypocrisy. Amen. I heard it in the word, only the pure in what? Right. Pure. You got to be pure to sit in me. Amen. Now you be unpure like I was to sit out there. But to come up here, you represent holiness. And somebody said, I, 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 I wash my robe and the cleansing family. Now I am a child of God. See, see how slow I am? Look like I'm a big country because I'm 85 and all. I got to make it plain now. Choose Jesus and live. Reject Jesus and die. That's right, yeah. But if you push him aside, he's always available. Hmm. The scripture says, who's ever should call. Call. Yes, sir. That's what I'm not saying. Hey, yes, hey. Well, if they got to call, they're sinners. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because who's ever called on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Saved. Now, once you get saved, you call up on him. Mm -hmm. You go straight to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you have to really go to the Father and say, Father, I'm here in the what? Amen. 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 Can't push God too big, too heavy. Sometimes he'll ask you, what do you want? Most of the time he won't say nothing to me. Because what I want him to do is not what Jesus died to do for me. Now, I know you always pray holy for luxury. But if you're going to come to God, you got to strip that flesh away. Amen. And only the pure, you know, you got to be right. Amen. But even when you're wrong, when you pray something that's not like God, He'll put Jesus there. And the scripture said, We know not what to pray for as we ought. But the Spirit made intercession. What I ask for, Jesus become. Mm. And he present himself to God and said, This is what James is asking for. Amen. More of me. Mm -hmm. 
We don't know how to pray. The Bible says. Amen. But the Bible says we don't know how to pray like we ought to. Mm -hmm. Romans 12. The fourth verse. The third verse. For I say through the grace given to me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. Look, but to think soberly. Person drunk, he staggered. According to as God had dealt to every man, look, the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, and all the members are not the same office, so we, being many, are one body in Christ. And every one member, one of another, Amen. having then gifts different according to the grace that is given unto us. For the prophecy, let us prophesy according to the portion of faith. Amen. Or ministry, look, let mm. us what? Wait on it. Nobody got a message that you can Jesus. Hmm. You, my Bible says, you know I got a room full of books on the floor to the wall to the ceiling. But if I got a message for you, I don't go to them books. Amen. I don't go to this book. I go to the author mm -hmm. of the book. Amen. This message I wrote in my office a minute ago. I got a thousand books. But when I get ready to come before the royal priesthood, I have to go to Jesus. Now, I'm going to do what I really don't want to do. I'm going to close. But I want to give God thanks for this technician. Amen. Look. He's touching with my finger. Now, see, I always tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to change one of the locks on my sound system. Because if you walk off and leave the ministry like this, but since we have grace, we don't have to judge you. But you can be wise. I had two lawn mowers. They cost me twenty-five or thirty thousand dollars. I was lax. I should have brought those lawnmowers and put it behind the crib I got in my house. I put five locks on the garage over there. <laughs> <coughs> into the truck. Tied it to the front of the garage and pulled the whole garage side open. And there had to be a mechanic because one of those lawnmowers wouldn't run it. It took both of them. Amen. Now let me teach you something <clears throat> I know you don't have the need of. I wasn't ready to pray for them. I know you would have went straight to your knees. I'm thinking. I got two sons that are policemen. I got one son that's a grandson that's a policeman. My second son is married to the prosecuting attorney. I'm thinking all that stuff. And all I have to do is make a phone call. Look what I did. I said, James, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And I ain't with a quarter till I started crying. When the tears flow, I got the victory. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. See, it's all right for me to tell you the fault I have. Because the Bible says, confess your fault. Amen. Yes. I got a temper like a buzz song. But the Holy Ghost put his foot on it. But I have to allow him to shackle me with forgiveness. Amen. Now, I know you people that just went on and pray for him. Then somebody told me back a little bit. Uh, you don't want to know the ring? I said, yeah. It's a total? Yeah. He said, man, I just saw a man driving by your house. In my chest, I could have wear a size 79 shirt. <sighs> See, I know you ain't like that. You're used to the Lord forgiving. He know not what he'd do with it. <laughs> well, I wasn't thinking about knowing what he'd do with it. I think about what I'm planning on doing. Now, Think now, I'm just a member of this church. In this Bible say, confess. Mm -hmm. hey, mama, confess your faults one to another. Mm -hmm. Pray mm -hmm. one for another. Amen. That you might be healed. Having a fault with vengeance on it is a sickness. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I want to give thanks for Paul for, and for his professionalism. Amen. And he and Jarvis are going to help me get the equipment that I need, look, to get that kind of quality. Amen. Amen. So, Father, I thank you for the technician. Yes. Thank you. I thank you for his skill, his know how. Yes, Lord. I thank you for his will to help me yes. do what I'm doing better. Yes, Lord. Bless his family. Yes. Do it for your glory. Bless yes. his family. Yes. Hey! Do it. Yes. Bless his family. Yes. Bless our family. Yes, Lord. Do it and it will give you glory. Yes. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God. Amen. 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 So now we will receive our offering.